YouTube, what's going on, guys? Debuting the new Johnny Cueto Battle Royale Flawless Award, arguably the second best pitcher in the game or third best between him and Cole Hamels. This card's incredible on paper, man. If you want to check it out, here it is. Pause it, take a look at it, break it down, the controls and breaks on this guy's pitches and nuts, and we know he's got a funky release. And the other card we're going to debut is the program card, the program star rewards, Shane Victorino. Not great versus righties, but he's a lefty killer. So if we get a lefty on the mound, we're going to torch him. That's it. That's the lineup. We added Ernie at shortstop because we want my mans in the lineup let's see what johnny cueto and shane victorino can do in rank season all right we're here baby let's get it killy the bitty he is a playstation play he got griffy in the lineup oh we got the escobar parallel five austin riley we're playing a playstation player don't send me jack diddly dick piss or shit there's no chance right all right hopefully this is goes better than the other game replacing another facing another playstation guy decker cool He's got Al Lighter on the bump, which is great because Shane Victorino hits lefties, and God damn it, so does Ernie, and so does our game crashing. Okay. You know how it is out here. It's hard these days to play a game. All right, let's run, baby. Johnny Cueto has a win and a loss before even throwing a single pitch. Interesting. The sinker is violent. Hopefully, we can get him at bait. No, he's hot safe. start. Hot start. Fluke hit. Let's get it, baby. All right, little jam piece. That sinker's got him off balance. I might have been able to get two there, or at least not two. Get the guy at second base, but we'll see. Another ground ball. Johnny Cueto pitching the contact here. I'd rather face Julio. Good. Chain. The, the Robin to Cueto's Batman for this debut, if you know what I mean. No, no, no. All right, let's find an approach. Find an approach here. Let's definitely not do that. Come on, Shane. Right off his jacked ass. He's going, he's going, he's going. Good oh, at go. bat, Georgie. Good read, good everything. Let's go. We like where hitting is at. A little underneath it. Wait a minute now. A little underneath it. Oh, Juan Soto made that play? Nope. Hey. Oh, that was, that, was, that was Juan Soto who made that play. Out of, oh, in his secondary? Or he's like a bronze almost, pretty much? Okay, cool. Oh, good swing. Good swing, Chip. Not ideal. Good, Ernie. Johnny Cueto? Bro, there's no way. That was the animation you got. Good, Johnny. All right, we're out of the inning. That was pure bizarre stuff. Smoked. Get in the hole, baby. Robinson. Get out of here, baby. Let's go, Pimper. Let's go, baby. 3 nothing. Oh, no shot. Oh, that was gorgeous. All right, one down. Now oh, that's ball. That's clearly a ball. This is why he's mixed slumping, because I'm a mick idiot. Oh, good pitch. Victorino's got a good swing, man. He'll be a killer of lefties. It's going to be kind of tough to use against righties, though. Bro, can I not miss horribly? Good pitch. You know what? Maybe maybe it's time. We have those random days. Maybe it's a pitch from behind the pitcher day. Bro, he's not even getting close. I'm so, I mean, does he not have a good control? 92 BB per nine. 90, I don't. Maybe I'm missing something, but we got lucky. Got him. Jesus, Johnny. What the f Johnny. You know, lefties are batting. Uh, 250 plus against uh, my Pedro and like one, low 100s against like right handed hitters, and it just makes sense, man. He's just very effective versus righties, but not versus lefties. You just need a, you need a pitch that can go away from him. Good eye. No, oh, that was a miserable at bat. Well, the ball looking funky, funky. Come on, Ernie. Ernie with a pimp job. He's the hero. Six nothing. He could before it landed. Bitch, man. God. We're facing Carlos Rodon. Carlos Rodon. Parallel. I don't think I've ever seen this. Might be for good reason. Is that leaving? McCutcheon's back. We got a lefty for Victorino. Split the gap. Just late cheese. That's going to be a run. 
Dude, I don't know what makes someone want to pick Carlos Rodon, but that card is ass. Maybe it's that's Carlos Rodon's son. Is that a no touchy? You know what, guys? I'm done trying to I'm done trying to rationalize this game. That's a beautiful swing. That's a good one. Some pitchers, guys, some pitchers just aren't good. I, it's just one of those things where someone's going to say, Carlos Rodon is my number one pitcher. I pitched 455 games with him, and he's got a 1.2 ERA. Like a 1 .2 ERA. Guys, he just doesn't. He just. Some guys are just categorically easier to read, easier to hit against. It's back. Let's go. That's six, baby. Let's go. That's another bomb for McCutcheon. And McCutcheon is getting a slump buster he very well needed. Although he's never really had problems for his lefties. He was starting to slump for his righties a bit, but I think he's gone. I tried. YouTube. We have a bit of a change of plans here, okay, guys? So, we tried, obviously, today. We had four games to try and get a Cueto debut. It didn't work. We had a quit before the first pitch. Dash, a lineup screen crash on my end. I got the loss. Then I had another quit. And then I had another quit. All before three innings both times. We're playing Jay in a friendly, but... I'm going to go through how I pitch with Johnny Cueto and why I think he's going to be one of the goats in the game right now, pitching-wise, and how I approach pitching in general. So you're going to see a lot of that. You're going to see my hitting. That's what you're going to see. And you're going to see me hitting Johnny Cueto, and you're going to see me pitching with Johnny Cueto. So how would I approach Johnny Cueto? Well, against McCutcheon, what do you expect to see? Cutters up and low and away, and sinkers down and in. That's what you're expecting to see. An occasional pitch like that is going to be a cutter front door to throw off your timing. If you're, you're expecting a sinker inside, you're going to be early on that cutter. That's a, a forcing him up and away is an interesting pitch. I wouldn't personally throw that because most people are going to mash that and crush it. That is his, that's going to be his bread and butter. That's nasty. If that's in that location, I don't care what you do. You're not going to be able to really hit it that much. That one flattens out more. You want to get it up in the zone. That's a good pitch. Probably should have hammered that, but he's a little funky, man. He's got a weird arm release. Good swing. That's going to get out of here. Let's go, McCutcheon. That's three straight bombs going back to rank. Elite card. So long, he continues to own Jay. I'm going to change up. Waited on it. Got it. Now... Something you're going to want to do with Cueto or against Cueto is really be over comp, uh, or cognizant of the fact you want to get on top of the baseball. You're going to be inclined to mash down. Don't do that. You're going to be underneath it. It has a lot of really weird movement. That's, not a, that's going to stay fair, isn't it? Because it's good timing. Yep. Not an awful swing. Uh, that slide was flat. That'll get, that'll get mashed more times than it won't. But Cueto has like a pitching machine delivery almost where the arm is like totally vertical because of his body rotation the ball kind of spins on a arm side run nope. big time and another thing to keep in mind against Cueto if you see him Jesus he his cutter is like a changeup. it's very slow compared to his other pitches that's a tough pitch man that's gonna be the bread and butter it has a ton of movement and if you throw it to a lefty, that's the key to hit it, pitching to a lefty with Johnny Cueto is operate with that cutter-sinker combo because both out of the hand look like they're diving at you. Um, I don't really know what that was. Am I out? Ow! Honestly, I deserve to be out there, so I'm not really mad about it. That was just him getting punished for a bad pitch. Also, it's knowing your opponent's weaknesses and strengths. I happen to already know Jay likes fastballs inside. So what am I going to beat him? Cutter's outside, and uh, he does not like this pitch here. That missed, obviously. Uh, okay, now, what are you looking for here? Well, I don't want to throw anything in the zone to Jay. Um, he's a corner corner merchant. Go outside of the zone, too. I kind of f***ed that up, but I'll take that. What does he like to hit? Well, he, he's pretty good inside. I think I want to throw off his timing with a front door cutter here. Okay, it worked out uh, in the sense that I got him out early. What was he looking for? The pitch I think he was looking for. Um, he gets thrown off sometimes by fastball low and away. This pitch looks weird. It looks like it might go low, and then it grabs his own just like that. Beautiful pitch. 95, it looked slower, and then boom, caught the corner. That's going to work well in the sense when he's expecting a cutter, and he sees a pitch like that, he thinks it's going to run out of the zone, and then it just doesn't. That's a good tunnel right there. Now, what do you tunnel with an outside cutter? Well, there's a couple things you could do. Um, I'm actually going to go inside cutter here. Working both halves of the plate with... Different velocity, different types of approach. Uh, I'll go sinker, but really low. Got him to bait on it. Got him. Yep, that got pitch him. has an incredible amount of dive. I don't know how that missed that badly, but it did. I've had some control issues with Cueto personally, but others haven't really. Now, I think Cueto's really the real deal. I've been a big fan of Johnny Cueto cards. If you know me from last year, I used the lower diamond Cueto, and he dealt for me against a top 50 player because uh, of the pitch differential and the weird arm release. But... Um, I, he, I felt so strongly about him. I actually bought him off the market, which I don't really do for cards that are, like, marginal. Even if they look good, like Musina, but I don't think they're great, I'm not going to buy them. I didn't even buy Cole Hamels. I waited until I got him. 
Ah, uh, that's not a great swing. He got lucky. He got lucky there. Cueto is, like, Jay just texted me. He said he's better than King Felix. He's kind of like a cracked out King Felix. That was just a glitch in the Matrix. That swing is bad. It's a hit because the game's not great. Throw off his timing. Got him to pull out early. Give me that. Got him to do it. He was sitting on the on the hard stuff. All right, other than that fluky ass hit, Johnny Cueto's been dealing. He's got the pitch mix you need, man. Now, I, in an ideal world, you'd get rid of that uh, slider and have a curveball of some type. Pro preferably a slurve if you could, but... Beggars can't be choosers. The key to Johnny Cueto. What do you got to do when you're facing him? Overall, keep him in the zone. Attack him in the zone. Attack him on the, where you think he's going to miss. That 96 is not that fast on paper, but it's going to sneak by you when you're looking for other stuff. Good swing. Kind of missed it a little bit, actually. Damn. Just missed that a little bit. Oh. He's got so much movement, and it's very abrupt movement. All right, let's go, Wern. Just fluke him. That's such a great pitch, dude. Oh, that was the one to hammer. That was one to hammer. That was certainly one to hammer. That's what you want to get. That cutter flattened out big time. Jay likes his pitch here, but I don't know if he likes it against Cueto. Unreal pitch. Got him on that beauty. That's a disgusting tunnel with the sinker, bro. That is a way to get lefties out. Tunnel that sinker and that circle change inside that mid-level. Now, Jay is one of his best hitters is Frank Thomas. If I can get him out here and make him look kind of foolish, that will be a nice indicator. He is supreme bail with Frank Thomas. Got to roll over. If you told me last year that there'd be a point where I'd have, without context, George Brett at first, Escobar, and live series Eduardo Escobar at third base, while Lou Gehrig isn't even on my team, 99 Lou Gehrig, I would laugh at you. It's just not that good. He's not that good. I can't, I mean, I'm going to use him off the bench when I get him because he's just simply not that good. He's really solid versus righties. He's just okay versus lefties. And they gave him left field, right field secondaries just because they want him to be able to be used because they know that there are 15 better first basemen. There'll be a better Lou Gehrig. We're going to get a retro finest one or something like that. He's going to be nuts. Beautiful. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Bro, I feel like they nerfed my exit velo on that just so Frank can get to it. Ball, All right. And this is like right. really down the middle. I'm not going to swing. Just missed it. You know what, though? Even if I square that up, I don't think I'm doing shit with that. Having 59 homers and only 83 RBIs is indicative of him being a leadoff hitter for his entire stint, his stint here. See, I saw Sinker there going into the corner. I was wrong. Now, how would you approach a Cal Ripken type? Primarily, honestly, up and in. He has a very tough time getting to that pitch. He likes that pitch, too. I want to see if Jake can get to this. It's a really tough pitch for him to hit. Him and Johnny Bench have a tough time hitting that. Oh, reliable here. Don't want to be in the zone, 0-2. That's fine. It's a very hard pitch for him to hit. You basically, to get that pitch with Cal Ripken, you have to be early, even though it's going to say you're not early, and you got to catch that really out in front because of his tomahawk swing. And you're going to pretty much do a couple things. Where you can either hit a to like a, an absolute laser beam home run, or you're going to hit a, like a screaming single with topspin. That's Johnny Cueto. You basically hit him with spin. That's it. Pitcher v. Pitcher, guys. Update. You hit him with spin. You do not give them a four-seam fastball. Well, attack Jay where he's always looking, but even lower, so he'll roll over. That's a Good take. Well, we know about him. He likes he likes to crush inside with Austin Riley. Good. That's the pitch I want. Now we just go there. We just go there again. Good eye. I, I don't see any other way other than going outside. He's just too consistent inside with Austin Riley. Sinker might get him to roll over. Pitcher walls. Am I right? Back to attacking him. What do I want with George Brett? Something that I could follow my barrel with to the bottom corners. There we go, baby. Exactly. Hover down there. We'll get it. He's going to pitch you low. Yo, I'm thinking about retiring my cap. Um, I'm doing well with him. I just, I'm not having as fun, much fun with him anymore. I want to use other players. All right. That's where he's going to sit. We've identified where he wants to go. He wants to sit around this lower third of the zone. It's going to be easy for us to go from here to here because it's going to be higher pitches that are slower. Oh, okay. Joe Mauer the god. He is, though. Literally was waiting for that. I guess I'm just late. Oh, that's a good swing, man. That's unlucky. It's a great pitch, though. Great swing. Just unlucky. Great swing. Better pitch, I guess. I saw Sinker there. I'm going to go to get the out here. Perfect. Look like a cutter, and then it comes back, grabs his own. Cueto's just nice with it, man. Some of the nastiest pitch breaks I've seen. I'm looking just for one thing here. Roll over to shortstop. He's getting a lot of check swings, unfortunately. That wasn't even close. I don't know how that even made sense. 
Good pitch. God, he's just dicing. Five Ks through two, uh, three and two thirds. Keep it low, baby. Keep it low. Jay is a high ball guy, man. As most people are in this game. Not a great swing. Not a great swing. We know early on outside pitches, a lot of times go straight up the middle, so. Good pitch. Lefties in this situation, where are they going to sit for? Cutters inside. Sinkers low and away is what they want. Let's actually go up in the zone here. Steal! That missed in the... I don't even know how badly that missed. It makes no sense. That was 97, though. We got lucky. Ball Raise the ladder on him, and now drop the hammer. Another one that could have been a strikeout. Good swing. All right, a little fortunate on his end. A couple lucky foul balls here that could have been outs, but that was a good swing on a really, really good pitch. I'm perfect pitch. That's another bad hit. I mean, Frank Thomas is just ultra, ultra mega bailed out. It's going to happen, man. Good pitch. Let's go. We know when you play MLB to show, you're going to get hit one of, one of those innings. Cushion flu kit. Chipper should have struck out. Perfect swing was great, though. And then a, a fluke from Frank Thomas. I mean, he's the just laid up the middle. God. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, man. I hope you understand the gist of what we're doing here. I apologize. It was a fragmented debut. But, you know, this is what's going to happen. We just have we just have too many quits, man. Quits, lineup screen crashes, and things in between. But we're going to still try our best to bring the content. It'll be all mixed up and jambled up. But hope you enjoy it. If you do, like the video. Comment below. And uh, subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. Hit that bell on. Love you, man. See you next video. Peace.